I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC, and I'm at our 2019 Gulf Shipping Conference in Houston with John Slangerup, CEO of American Global Logistics. Great to see you, John. Good to see you again. You just wrapped up uh, today's keynote. Can you give me a recap of the high points of the conversation? We were talking about supply chain optimization in an era of disruption. So we were talking a lot about the various disruptive factors that, that you know, BCOs and, and, and freight forwarders and ocean liners, everybody facing these days, right? So it was um, uh, a lot of the domination of the conversation ended up following on to the impact of tariffs. But my, uh, my, the thrust of what I was trying to talk about was really how do you optimize a supply chain and you do, and how do you apply technology to that? And so in, in our view, the, you know, the way to do it is really mapping out your supply chain, understanding all of those critical handoff points, and then applying technology as a, as a, a solution to those problems, but not focusing on technology on the front end as a, as a solution before you know what the problem is. So what, what are your thoughts on the tariff situation for people looking at the next few months? What should they be focused on? Well, it's, you know, it's been very reactive, right? So I think everybody is just uh, uh, coming to grips with how are they going to deal with this long term. A lot of the uh, subsequent conversation that took place in the, uh, the follow-on panel was uh, around the notion that um, in, in, when there's disruption like that, the, you react, obviously, to try to, to address the, the immediate concerns. But longer term, you look at, well, how, does this, how do I change my supply chain? really to mitigate this, any future, uh, uh, you know, conditions like this. And so typically what it means is in the case of the Chinese tariffs um, or, the, or the, good, the, the goods coming into this country, the, the focus then is on looking at other sources of supply. And that's by itself a very disruptive activity. But I am sure that most will do that. Most will, to, will come up with a mitigation strategy. We talked a little bit about the impact of of the uh, you know the big West Coast port strike a few years ago, and uh, the, and a lot of mitigating events that happened after that. So it was a very very good exchange. Uh, you know my presentation was more focusing, kind of laying the groundwork for you know how do you how do you address mitigating uh, activities, how do you use technology in optimizing your supply chain, and then the subsequent panel was very very good about really dealing with some of the hardcore issues that people are facing right now. The core issue was tariffs and the impact on them, both short and long term. Um, the, you know, these, are, these, are, these are times when you don't have a lot of advance notice. Logistics by itself is, is challenging, it's very difficult because whatever can go wrong will go wrong and so you have to have a highly responsive system uh, for that and as predictive as possible. Um, but in the case of tariffs, when this last round, we had a week. I mean, I mean, it, it, how, do you, how do you how do you react to that? And I think a lot of the conversation was about, well, what do I do in the future to avoid having all my eggs in one basket? And that's really uh, where I think most of the conversation led. And just on technology, the the idea of not. Um not leading with the technology, what would you say are other common missteps with technology right now? I think uh, an awful lot of, I, I wouldn't call it a misstep as much as just an opportunity for um, companies to really do this assessment of their supply chain. Okay. It is rarely done. They, they usually react to a problem and solve the problem. But what we have found with our customers is that when you go through the actual upfront process of taking the time to assess your end-to-end -end supply chain and really looking at what I call handoff points, other people refer to as bottlenecks, but really every handoff point in that supply chain should be assessed for its opportunity for efficiency. And once that's done, then you can target technology solutions on a very appropriate basis and over time. You don't have to do it all at once. So I think that the whole idea of mapping your supply chain is a, a real advantage if you have if you can do that. Great. Well, thanks for taking time to sit down with me today. Our pleasure. Thanks. I've been speaking with John Slangerup, CEO of American Global Logistics. <laughs>